Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising monthly tarot reading for September 2018. While I'm shuffling, in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything that you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video, which is my uh, website. And uh, just to let you know, there is a, a summer end sale going in, which is uh, adding 30 mi uh, 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute sale. So that being said, uh, this is going to be a, a 7 card monthly spread. And um, let me cut the cards now. So the first one here, the first position does uh, expresses the past circumstances which are influencing your month of September. The second card will give us an idea for what the month is going to be. This card stands for the topic of the month. Third card will be about the possibilities you can go for um, <clears throat> should you choose to so highly situational card. Fourth one, it is uh, regarding to the guidance or how is the, what is the best way to cope with uh, the uh, with the topic. Fifth card here, it is a, about the uh, attitude of the people which are involved into your situations. Uh, then we do have uh, the sixth card that will be the challenges that you have to take on. And the last card is about the final outcome. So what will be the result of all that? So let's see what you do have here, Sagittarius. Now we do have the Wheel of Fortune. So it does look like the luck is going to carry on from July to the month of uh, to the month of September. This card could point for an, an opportunity which is going to be proceeded upon. Uh, the opportunity presented itself in the month of uh, July and you will kind of take on into the month of September or it's going to impact your month of September as well. The thing with the Wheel of Fortune is, is that it's very broad. You cannot say really where it's going to hit you. It could hit you into your social circle, career or relationship. But you need to know that this card is uh, associated with a hyperactivity because it does gives you um, in most of the cases multiple opportunities to act upon and the good thing with this card for as a change uh, for a change or for a difference with the eight of wands is that this this time around with this one you can take every single opportunity around it does it does depend you know how willing you are to sacrifice from your personal time here so you have to be prepared to be very very busy Sagittarius in the in the month of September but uh, this card also represents sometimes once in a lifetime opportunity that happened recently and is going to severely impact your month so let's see how it's going to impact your month by looking at the topic here well we do have the eight of wands which is just a con continuation of the wheel of fortune I just told you about the Eight of Wands. Uh, the difference in between the, those couple of cards is that the opportunities from the Eight of Wands could, uh, you could miss, but those from the Wheel of Fortune you can't miss. So what, the, what will be the month itself? It will be about your creativity and your creative expression. So you will be able to unfold it to its outer limits here. Very positive card for those who are workaholics, you know, and who really count exceptionally upon their career. That card points that you will be able to perform beyond the expectations of your boss and of your supervisor as well as you will prove yourself being very brilliant when it comes to decision making problem solving you know a performance as well um, in in regard to doing exceptional work etc etc but if we talk about personal relationships either with friends you know lovers family as well this card uh, gives you an opportunity here Sagittarius to uh, resolve some current issues which are at hand <clears throat> and these opportunities to do so will come one after another but you need to have the uh, readiness here and as well the, um, the cleverness to take advantage of them. 
So for what it seems for you Sagittarius, the uh, the month of September will be a, a month of... Um, the, the, the correct word is not insecurity, but uncertainty, because it will depend how well you play your cards. Think it like this. You will have the means, but will you have the time to use those means? Now, that will be the question here, or you will have the vigilance, you know, to uh, foresee those, uh, those means and to capitalize on them. It is all about that. But should you not slack here in the month of, um, in the month of September, and should you try the best that you got, well, then you can expect major improvements in every single field of your life. Here, of course, if you do slack, these um, opportunities of improvements will just fly by and go with the flow. And you will, you will not be able to do anything about it when the month of September passes and it comes the month of October. However, those initiations here which having an impact upon your month, they are in addition. So what I mean is that they are staying there and you will have to attend to them one way or another. And additionally here, what you can go for in this particular month, that is the Knight of Wands. So <clears throat> this card speaks for experimenting, this card speaks for being very uh, light-hearted with, uh, with your actions. You know, if one thing doesn't work out, then you can go for another. And in, and in the sense of what you can go for, this card speaks only one word and that is adventure. So definitely if you are planning to do some adventurous, uh, um, to have some adventurous experience like traveling somewhere, you know, or like uh, trying different uh, disco clubs, let's say, or trying different uh, activities as well, activities which you haven't tried until now, then they will be, uh, they will be very well received from your uh, inner self, so you will enjoy them quite much. And for what it seems, you will try them again further into the future. But the Knights of Wands is about having these short-term uh, surges of inspiration and surges of uh, of happiness, exactly uh, uh, entirely uh, provoked by uh, by the new. And by the very brand new activity that uh, you will get familiar with, all right? So this is something you haven't tried until now. So it's as well it's going to be for you a month of exploration also. Uh, not to mention that for those who uh, like to have, you know, <laughs> one time sex with people, then this is going to be a fantastic month for that thing, guys. It's just, it does look like that you will have multiple hits or men or on women, depends which one is your liking. Uh, then we do have the best possible approach toward the situation here. Eight of Wands, this is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. So we have a little bit of a turn here, not for the worse, you know, but a, a turn for. Um, I just forgot the word. <laughs> uh, so that turn that we do have, it's with your, um, it's how you take on, you know, this mad activity that is going on around you. So the eight of, uh, so the seven of pentacles, it is a card of, um, of deliberation, careful analysis, uh, an uh, careful analysis, and, uh, defining which one is worth it and which one isn't worth it. So this card here gives us an idea that some of those activities that you may throw yourself in may actually require much more than you are anticipating on. Uh, <clears throat> As we mentioned time, it does look like that time is a luxury for you, yes, but a, a bigger luxury for you is going to be uh, the resources that you do have. In other words, uh, this card points you that you cannot afford to waste the resources just so you can, uh, you can fulfill your ego, should I say, that way. Uh, the resources here, like time, like money, you know, like a personal devotion, etc., etc., should be placed only into those enterprises which offers you, by a default, 
something in return, something to gain, like happiness, like thrill, you know, like emotions. What I'm trying to say here is, is that maybe, just to give you an example, if your partner uh, approach you with an idea to go and travel somewhere and you hate traveling, you should not contribute into it because that is going to be a, a waste of resource. Just on the contrary, you have to try to um, to exchange or to substitute the traveling with some other enterprise which will be of your liking as well. So a an open conversation here for that you don't actually like traveling, you know, will be more advisable so your partner realize, you know, that what they are proposing is entirely for their benefit and that you are going to feel miserable. So uh, literally this is what the Seven of Pentacles here points that you should um, <clears throat> that, that you should be more careful you know how you invest into this month as a personal time and as well you know as a personal resources in any case should you choose you know to go for that hyperactivity but what is advisable as i said is to go with experimenting something that you don't know are you gonna like it or not it is something that you need to explore rather than throwing yourself into activity that you instantly know or you have already tried and you know that you don't like at all uh, how the people are, are going to take on that, very judgmental here with the King of Swords is that it does look like that people will try to talk you over of your standpoint. As a matter of fact, some people may see you quite immature for what it seems. <clears throat> when we have the, the King of Swords as a people's attitude is about a uh, attitude of dominions and it's about a, a an attitude of uh, pretending uh, uh, all knowing things so these people which are surrounding you in those situations will think that they know better than you they will think that they have answers to everything you are trying to discover and are they having those answers that is unknown what i mean is that it's going to be different for every single one of you but should you experience it uh, for yourself that is most definitely so you should not allow here to be led by a, a people who presume to know what you are going to experience from a certain uh, from a certain enterprises but what is the good thing it is because the circumstances are so favorable for what it seems you will be able to pull yourself out in the very uh, right moment here in case you decide that the un undertaking and the enterprise you are involving yourself in is something that you will rather dislike rather than like. But with the uh, King of Swords you have to be as well very careful here because this car, the, this King guys does not kind of care about lying or not. So. Um, if they are way more, if they are uh, quite tenacious regarding their position for you, uh, that will be dependable on every single situation. They will have no problem here and there to twist truths, to present you fictions as facts, just for the sake to uh, talk you out of. Uh, <clears throat> of your initiation and your anticipation excuse me um, so that's why you should not be overly trusty here but rather uh, trust the healthy sense of mistrust and try to put every single statement um, against a, a question try to put every single um, presumption here against what you know to be true and that is either regarding your relationship or regarding your career because the case could be that someone may try to talk you out of establishing a relationship for what it seems is going to be quite passionate one all right and you and you never know you may like it the thing with the seven of pentacles is that you don't know really because this card points that a um, on an event or an information which is going to decide the faith of this undertaking should it be a very new one it is lying behind the corner and that's why you have to follow the the knight of wands which is about experimenting just try it out and see all right and then the challenges that you need to face that will be the king of uh, of cups and this isn't standing as a person but it is standing as a standpoint here so the king of cups it's um 
at points that you will be very reservant with your emotions. Not very good one if you're trying to establish a, um, a relationship with certain people, but a, a very good one when we talk about career. And I will try to cover up the both, the both possible versions. So what will be difficult for you regarding your career, you know, is to uh, kind of like um, experience full satisfaction, you know, of your breakthroughs. As well, it will be very difficult for you somewhat, you know, to make a, um, a professional decision regarding, uh, regarding your approach and it's kind of understandable because you will want to experiment and experimenting goes directly against a, a professional judgment. I mean, the professionalist does not experiment. They know what they have to do, all right? But uh, um, this should not make you think that you are not professional at all, because maybe uh, these undertakings that will take place, they cannot be attended professionally, because no one knows uh, what they are all about and no one have a clue about it. So it's kind of like you will be as well a discoverer here. <clears throat> But when it comes to a relationship, this card stands only for one thing, and this is will, this is this will be finding a way to express yourself accurately emotionally to the people that you love or to the people that you do have interest in for some reason, and that reason can be seen again here in these couple of cards because these people will see you a little bit inconsistent, and that is only because the monthly energy is like that, not that not the that you are like this guys so uh, if things aren't working out uh, relationship wise in this uh, particular month just wait it out for the next one probably there the situation will be much more favorable for you where you can seal the deal and at the end the final outcome for you Sagittarius is that will be the page of Pentacles <clears throat> so a positive card here as a final outcome that card could speak for reconciliation very important when we talk about relationships here so uh, just to give you a glimpse so what could happen is that you could try a new relationship you know just so you can understand that you need to uh, get back to an old one right we do have these kind of uh, our life lessons uh, for the duration of our living here you know we are trying multiple people being with them trying to forget for the one that we had in the past just so we can understand that actually we can't and we have to get them back uh, so and this card also may speak that you are trying different people you know uh, dating with different people just so you can understand that a friend of yours is the best possible match around so that card points that should you decide to make a relationship this month that relationship Relationship will happen with a person that you already know not someone that you will meet for the duration of the month and that doesn't mean that you don't have to experiment maybe you do have multiple friends of your liking and you have to try to date all of them you know date a couple of them um, or, or kind of like date one at one week another at another week etc etc just so at the end you can uh, you can kind of, you know, make an assessment and decide with which one is best for you to be. <clears throat> but nonetheless, the page here points for a, a long-term devotion. That is the meaning of the page of Pentacles. And upon something which were which foundations foundations was were uh, laid down previously in the past probably here where that opportunity take, uh, took place in the month of July and right now it is ready to be manifested. So probably this month, just to summarize the reading here, is going to be trying every single other opportunity or other option available except this, uh, this opportunity here, just so you can define for yourself that this one is the best one. All right, and it has to be acted upon. It's kind of like cutting your losses or kind of, uh, you know, excluding every single margin for a re uh, and an error for yourself um, <clears throat> to, be, um, to be made should you, uh, should you initiate upon the opportunity the Wheel of Fortune gives you.
So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your monthly tarot reading for September 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.